suspicion for his ability to see the true world of the United States. Black holes send up radiation. with one of his former students, fellow physicist, Professor Thomas Carter. The quantum mechanics. From the record, it's such a beautiful idea that most physicists agree that it must be true. Our adventure on the universe has changed a great deal and had the effect of made us more of what we used. Hawking's legacy continues today. Physicists around the world are still working on an ultimate... ...who is full hope from Belgium especially to work with. He can think. He can think very far. He can think very well. He has a very clear scientific vision. So he feels cosmology is a mission he can fulfill with his finances. And therefore, that's what makes life worthwhile. What makes him remarkable as a scientist is the clarity of his vision. He has the ability to, to see through all the clutter and to focus on the core problems. What is so flexible? I don't know what the black hole. Something you get in a black sock. <laughs> <laughs> One of Stephen Hawking's greatest scientific achievements was this elegant equation. It sums up the work he most wanted to be remembered for. He chose to have it on his tombstone. One of Stephen Hawking's greatest scientific achievements was this elegant equation. It sums up the work he most wanted to be remembered for. He chose to have it on his tombstone in Westminster Abbey, where he's buried with two other giants of science, Isaac Newton and Charles Darwin. This equation describes what happens at the edge of a black hole. Stephen Hawking is fascinated with black holes and their ability to reveal the secrets of the universe. His equation ties together some of the biggest ideas in physics. General relativity, which describes gravity and how the universe works on its largest scales. Quantum theory, which describes the very small scale of the atomic world. And thermodynamics, the science of heat and temperatures. Hawking's equation shows that black holes aren't so black after all. Despite their massive gravity, they emit a glow, which we now call Hawking radiation. One way to understand Hawking radiation is like this. Quantum mechanics, a theory of the very small, suggests that throughout the universe, particles and their equal but opposite counterparts, antiparticles, are popping in and out of existence. But if these pairs pop into being at the edge of a black hole, it is possible for one of the pair to be drawn in by gravity and the other to escape its clutches, forming Hawking radiation. Stephen's revolutionary breakthrough was discovering that despite their massive gravity, 
Black holes send up radiation until there's nothing left. And there's no sign of him giving up. Even at 73, Stephen is still working on new theories of physics. And he's collaborating today with one of his former students, fellow physicist Professor Thomas Hertog, who has flown over from Belgium specially to work with him. You can think, right? You can think very hard, you can think very well, he has a very clear scientific vision. So he feels cosmology is a mission he can fulfill this part of this ability and therefore convert. That's what makes life worthwhile. What makes him remarkable as a scientist is the clarity of his vision. He has the ability to, to see through all the clutter and to focus on the four problems and also to abandon all the ideas which stand in the way. What is a black hole? I don't know what is a black hole. Something in Canada black shark. It's such a beautiful idea that most physicists agree that it must be true. Our picture of the universe has changed a great deal and has been like that made us more of a contribution. Hawking's legacy continues today. Physicists around the world are still working on an alternate 